I think people are mostly fascinated by the longest fingernail records because it's something that the record holder has elected to do. They've kind of chosen this lifestyle where they grow their fingernails out, can take them 30 years, you know, eight meter long fingernails, uh, and, but they do it by choice. They're not as if they're the shortest man or the tallest woman. They've actually chosen to do this. And I think that's fascinating to people. Why would you do it? And how do you function? How do you go about your daily business? Do you drive? How do you cook? How do you go to the bathroom? Sort of fundamental questions that people will ask when they see fingernails that are that long. If I had nails as long as that lady, that world record breaking nail growing lady, the best thing that could ever happen to me would be someone give me a pair of scissors. <laughs> oh. It's just really, really disgusting. Lee Redmond's one of these really, really iconic record holders. She's the one I remember from when I was a kid. Um, from 1979, she's been growing her nails. She hasn't cut them since then. And just looked amazing, these huge, long, arcing talons. And not twisting, not twisted like um, Sridhar Shilal of India, who had the record. Remember him with the very, very long coiled thumb? For her, she was very clear that it was like a, a defense mechanism almost. It was something that she owned, something that she can control. It was a bit like a cage, she said. Uh, which she felt protected by these nails, which is interesting. What's also quite interesting is apparently had there been a nuclear strike and she was trapped in a bunker, she could eat them for three months. She had been told from my doctor that they contained enough nutrients that she could live on the nails for months. In 2009, something I think quite incredible happened in that we discovered someone new called Melvin Booth. I just got into growing the nails and going to work, and that gave me something to do as I got into it. You know, like people's have a hobby. You know, I didn't know what was coming next, but that was my start. Uh, and what's amazing that we hadn't discovered him for so long, because where had he been with these long fingernails? Um, so he, he did actually beat Lee in terms of absolute longest nails on both hands. Uh, well, Lee retained the, the absolute record for the female. Um, and in 2009, again, we managed to get Lee and Melvin together for the first time. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet After you. After all of these this time, it's finally, huh? Finally, finally. Yeah. I'll see somebody that's just like me. <laughs> Interesting, I guess, for them to share nail care tips. Lee took a lot of care over her nails, where I think Melvin maybe didn't quite so much, so I think he learned a bit from her uh, about that as well. Sadly, Melvin died later that year, but uh, he was immortalised in, I think, one of our greatest photo shoots I think we've ever done. It's, it's a stunning, stunning photograph, uh, and I'm glad we were able to get them together for that amazing shoot. There was something particularly unique about um, Lee's fingernails because they were quite beautiful. They had this sort of stunning look. Um, and she, sadly, lost her fingernails uh, in a car crash a couple of years ago, which um, must have been the most horrifying thing for her, having lived with these all her life. I just seen this black blur and then this horrible crash and um, I heard fingernails snapping. The first thing I spotted was a fingernail and I just, oh, and I kind of started to cry. There's one of my fingernails. And uh, the sweet lady picked it up and then I told her that they were a Guinness World Record. This is the fragments left off of my fingernails. Um. So after Lee Redmond lost her fingernails in that terrible car crash, the search was on really to find a new world record holder. Um, there was a few contenders, but it wasn't until about 2011 uh, when we confirmed that we had a new record holder in the shape of the Duchess, uh, who's called Chris Walton, as she's known, who's a, uh, a singer in Vegas. And she, uh, she stepped forward and she was kind of relu reluctantly at the beginning, but finally was very, very open to being measured. And we did confirm her as having the world's longest fingernails. How does it feel to be part of the Guinness World Records International family? It actually is right up my alley because it celebrates difference and different from all over the world. 
and I want my grandchildren to understand that one, this world is bigger than them and us and me because I'm the only difference that they see and that it can be a blessing.